Hey everybody, it's Mark here, Five Angels Outdoor. Appreciate your uh, joining. And uh, what I wanted to do today was uh, go through and review the um, the Spod 4x4 uh, Bantam that I have purchased for the ZR2 Bison. Uh, it's a lighting controller. I wanted to go over the product and go over the install. By going over this uh, product and install, I hope that uh, we uh, can just give you some insight into it, uh, let you know any pros and cons that we found uh, through the process and uh, help you make a decision in regards to what lighting controller and everything that you would like to use for your video. So let's see how we're doing. We'll take you through the vehicle. Alrighty everybody, here is the control unit for our Bantam uh, Spod uh, lighting controller or accessory controller. As you can see, what we've done is we've mounted it on a power trays blank mount uh, made for the Colorado. And this is the Bantam unit. Um, we looked at many units and we found that this one being it was all encapsulated into a single uh, system uh, that didn't need to have bus bars and, and all those other things, uh, just made it something that we could easily um, install, uh, control, and really have everything built in. So in this sense, you can see uh, the wires come in pretty cleanly mount to the mount points. Um, we have a connection to the, the battery, which uh, will throw power to the main power unit here. And then there's a ground line here that goes out and under. And we've actually grounded it here to chassis ground. Uh, they do recommend not uh, running it to your battery ground. So what this does is it allows us to bring all of our accessories into one location. Uh, and then there's only one cable that goes into the actual cab of the vehicle. So that controller cable, what we've done is we've run it from the unit here, down and along the firewall, and then way down in there in the Colorado, there's a rubber grommet that passes through the firewall. And what we've done is we've made a cut into that grommet and then we've fed that wire through. So we have our unit here. Control wire goes through the firewall. And then let's take you down into the vehicle and show you what we've done to mount the control unit. So what we've chose to do here is we've actually chose to mount the control unit um, to our Valhalla off-road uh, center console map panel. Um, this uh, gives us some freedom to move it around, position it as needed. Um, you know, so, so far this is working out great. Um, I still have a couple open spots for switches, but I know what I'm going to use for that. But right now, obviously I have, as you can see here, uh, our backup lights, our dust lights, ditch lights, and bumper lights, so all of our Baja Design uh, add-on lighting. Uh, I also have the power for uh, the radio. So our GMRS radio is mounted here. So I actually control the power uh, here in this button. And then our ARB twin air compressor is also controlled through here. So this setup has worked out well. It's in a good off the way spot. And as I can say, it's, it, I, can, I can move it around as is. But basically, this is a great option. And from that too, um, we can always control our switch pod from our phone as well. So we have, we have this unit inside the truck. We have the switch panel that is on the uh, inside of the cab. And then uh, we do have a, a phone app that connects to this unit via Bluetooth. So in my mind, uh, you know, the Bantam X Pod 
uh, basically touched all the buttons. It was an easy install and, uh, and we are really enjoying it and recommend uh, this for you.